Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to start and end when you're sewing piping cord. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of piping cord sewn into a seam and this is where it would have started and this is where it um, would have ended. So I'm going to demonstrate how to start and end sewing piping cord. When you start sewing your piping cord, it's always best to start at the point of where the seam line starts. So you'll be starting at the 1.5 centimeters or five or five eighths of an inch seam. So you're gonna start this point here and which allows this to be free. And when you've actually done that and worked your sewing all the way around your sewing project, you're gonna end with the piping cord coming over your start and go as far as your piping foot or zipper foot will take you to this point here. Once you've sewn your corded piping into place, it, you come to a cross section like this. So you'll have your ends not actually sewn to the seams itself. So what you need to do then is remember that this is where you started and this is where you get your end. And it's all about reducing the bulk in this area here. So you need a stitch unpick and you just unravel some of the stitching that is part of the piping cord just to reveal the cord inside and then I'm going to cut and you cut some of that away because we just want as little amount of bulk within the seam and then we're going to do the same for the on for the cord that we started with now i've cut away the cording and now that is very flat and that's what you want you just want to reduce as much bulk in the seams as possible and that's what fashion sewing is all about and once you've got to that stage it will be a case of the one that you're actually ending with wrap it slightly over the first Part of your of your cord put a pin in because this is where you're going to be finishing off your sewing so when you go back to your sewing machine you're just going to sew over the top and just reinforce that area and you will have a nice finished edge like so i've now finished just the last bit of uh, sewing which was to connect the uh, end to the start of the cord just around this corner here and what that now does is that there's no bulk in the seam allowance whatsoever so there should be no piping or very very little because you do want to make sure you secure it within the stitch line and then it's ready for the next fabric piece to be joined onto it so you should be having something like this well i hope you found this video tip useful the key to sewing um, piping cord is to make sure you eliminate as much of the piping cord from the seam allowance because you want it to be as flat as possible so that your project doesn't look all bulky and ugly so do bear that in mind it really is about reducing the bulk in the seams if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and i'll see you next time